All right, let's check the markets with Scott Crothers and Stephen Nicholas. Good morning, Scott Crothers from Stephen Nicholas. Uh, good morning, McGraw. Hopefully you had a good and uh, three-day weekend with the friends and uh, family. What happened late last Thursday? We want to start off back there. We had a good day, yes, didn't we? Yes, we had a great day uh, the, late last Thursday. The Dow jumped 255 points and closed at 24,103 as a rebound in technology shares helped the stocks go higher. Uh, we were up over 460 points earlier in the day, but still finished with a nice game. Uh, this was the last day of the first quarter, and we lost 2.5% for the quarter, the first quarter loss in over two years for the Dow. All right. Uh, so we start a new quarter after a three-day weekend with news that uh, China is uh, fighting back on this tariff war. Yes, they are. China's imposing new tariffs on U.S. products. They will impose a 25% tariff on pork and seven other items. They will impose a 15% tariff on 120 items, including fruit and vegetables. This is in retaliation uh, of our tariffs on steel and aluminum. Uh, steel and aluminum. Uh, the new tariffs start today, but there's still a lot of negotiating on both sides going on. So we'll have to see how that yeah. comes out. All right. Uh, what are we hearing from Walmart? Well, Walmart has worked with Humana for years, but now the two might be merging. Humana, a Medicaid insurance giant, and Walmart are talking about strengthening their existing partnership, and a merger came up. Uh, there has been a lot of consolidation in the space with CVS buying Aetna and Cigna buying Express Scripts. So we'll see if this will happen with Humana and Walmart. Wow, that's that's big news that's brewing. Yeah, that, we'll pay attention to that. And then uh, finally, what's going on with 3D printing? What, what's the latest mo blow your mind story out of 3D printing? Yeah, this is kind of crazy. 3D printing is coming along, and now we're seeing some dwellings being built with 3D printing. Uh, it can save time and money using 3D printing, plus they can make them earthquake-proof. The country of Dubai plans... Uh, to have 25% of new buildings printed with the technology by 2030. Uh, this technology could make housing more affordable around the globe. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty interesting, <laughs> Uh What kind of house do you want? I'll just print it. Thank you very I'll much. I'll just print it. Uh, all right. After the three-day weekend and the nice uh, rally on uh, Friday or Thursday, starting the new quarter, what are the markets doing today, Scott? Well, today the Dow and the futures look up. I mean, actually look off down about 70 points. So uh, we have a very busy week with the ISM manufacturing report today, vehicle sales tomorrow, followed by durable goods, and finally the big employee report on Friday. But we're starting off down a little bit. So. All right. Scott Crothers with Stephen Nichols. Have yourself a good day. We'll do it all again tomorrow. Thanks. Sounds great. Thanks.